Hello and welcome back to the Fire Fairy channel. This is Fire Fairy playing as the Fire Fairy Company Limited. We are in the money. I repeat, we are in the money. Just to show you how much we're in the money, I will give you a little look-see at what we're doing. The Brighton to Eastbourne train line. Fares. Oh, just total profits with and we are also running um, the stop now so that they go home to a depot at night and also they're not running at night so I've cut down on maintenance and running costs and the line doesn't do crazy stuff <laughs> if we look at the trains and I look at their you know what time they come out to work they go in the depot at 20 past they're back out at 4 uh, 4:40 in the morning and they're off doing their stuff brilliant right so they all the lines have had that done to them the northern line it's a bit problematic because um of the way i've set the depots in fact the way the depots are set in real life i might have to look at that uh how i'm going to do that might have to put more points in and stuff but anyway here we are um, this is for the month, we're halfway through the month, so let's do last month. This is the whole of November 2038. <clears throat> it made 9 million profit. I mean, that's pretty good. Brighton Seaford, not so good. That's because of the low amount of um, passenger link up here. Might actually scrap that altogether Gatwick Express <clears throat> that is a line for the future it I don't expect it to make that much money but already just with two stops it competes with Brighton Seaford eventually it will go to London Victoria after I finish building the tube lines Lewis to Seaford okay just from here to here very small catchment area two million mid Sussex Ma massive amount not a huge amount of trains on the line 10 million now this is where it gets ridiculous Barnet to Finchley over the course of one month 5 million that's amazing just that line Edgware here to Morden here 25 million a month Mill Hill East here to Kennington here 34 million four hundred and forty three thousand they're going home at night everything there's nothing wrong with the depot stuff last but not least and for some reason they're getting the hump with the whole waiting I think it's Camden that's causing the issues not sure might be somewhere else where they feel they're waiting too long Let's have a quick look for the grumpy faces. Seen any grumpy faces? There's smiley faces there, smiley faces there, smiley faces there. Someone says they're waiting too long. Who is this strange people? 15 people over the month. God knows. That might have fixed itself. 36 million. So the two lines here are making more than 50 million that's the same line but going in different directions so I can manage the depot train so where the trains go into the depot so instead of running it as one continuous line and having them start at one place and start at another I've had them operate as if so when they finish their shift they finish it where they started so that it isn't got a train full of passengers finishes it in and drives with the passengers that were from Morden all the way to the depot up there and has to refund the whole train which is a nightmare because these trains are good trains they're Japanese uh, they're used on a couple of different American lines oh have I just picked the one oh I haven't done these at all whoa oh sorry I've oh, scared the life out of me that yeah, I have done those. Some of them are running all night um, to pick up the odd straggler. That's one of them. No problem. Got no problem with that. 
but on the whole, they're going back to their depots, etc. They carry 2,490 people on these trains. Not to be sniffed at. They're very cheap to run. <coughs> and they're not bad. 68 kilometres now. I could probably do the speed a bit more, you know, for these. But no one's unhappy. I've set, set a minimum sort of expectation, really. I don't want people to over-expect what can be done. The reason I set the time so down so much is that there are bottlenecks on the Northern Line. I'll give you an example. This is a bottleneck here. Trains coming out of Mill Hill East. Apologies, it's late here. The trains coming out of Mill Hill East and West Finchley sometimes have to queue to get out of here. Sometimes there's a train that's turned around here at Finchley Central and that's going up towards um, High Barnet and then a train is waiting to go through to Mill Hill East or vice versa. So there is, this is a bottleneck here. The worst bottleneck I've got, the worst one, I mean, it's really bad, <laughs> it's Camden Town. Um, it's really bad. It, 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 the station can only hold 200. People here uh, are just constantly unhappy. Uh, I'm all right at the moment. But they think it's going to take them 28 minutes to get down there they've got 21 minutes left that leg that they were on took one minute and by the time they get down there they don't want it to cost more than 39 dollars <laughs> a daily ticket don't cost that much but anyway i think off camera i'm going to put i'm going to have to adjust this and i'm going to have to put a second platform here i'm going to have to put a second platform here and i'm going to have to divvy off the line here and here and then one goes that way and one goes that way because it's too much it's just too much they they get bottlenecked here bad sometimes it's backing up around here in the morning before they all get spread out where they're supposed to be i've tried playing around with it it's only got four trains here and four trains here and two trains trains in the station waiting to go out and it's just what the hell's going on so hmm not not my idea of fun look at the way the money's going up it's 10 past 7 in the morning so this is normal time <laughs> look at the cash <laughs> look at the way the cash is going up i'm like making i'm like making a grand every two minutes <laughs> it's just like what's going on 500 pound a minute that's what it's, that's what it's making it's ridiculous <laughs> anyway the victoria line today so we need to find Brixton. Uh, for, to do that, we need to find Stockwell. There's Stockwell. So a Brixton is uh, International Camberwell Sexual Health Centre. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> right. There are lots of train lines in this area. So it's here somewhere. Let me just have a look. That's the overground there, which will link. And it's got a what is it? Like a, like a V shape there. I think the the actual station is the actual train station for Brixton is that just in the middle there. The tube station I think is here, but we need to link it. So we're gonna we're gonna run it at an angle like that because that, otherwise it won't it won't do it so to speak it's got to be a tunnel 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 and it's gonna go 100 meters 100 meters straight across there just like that not like that like that right there is a depot underground here somewhere we're going to put that in as well first of all we're going to name this brixton you see there it says Electric Avenue. The reason it's called Electric Avenue is because it was the first place in the whole of the United Kingdom, possibly the world, not sure, have to look it up, but certainly in the United Kingdom, to have electric street lighting. It was so, it, its original name was Howarth Street or something like that, 
and it was such an impressive thing that's a Lidgecombe Avenue there it's a street market it was such an impressive thing that they renamed it Electric Avenue. And let's face it, that is pretty impressive. Right. So from here, the train travels north to sunny Stockwell. Here's Stockwell. We're going to run the train underground straight across here. The reason it's straight across there is because it goes in a completely different direction but I still need it to be part of the platform. It's going to have a lot of footfall this train because this will be the only way to get up to Victoria. The next stop is a Vauxhall. The reason I know about these trains is because I used to travel on this line on the way to school. So, Vauxhall Station, we should be able to see it really, because it is a bit of a mess. And there it is. So, there's actually a few uh, train platforms that go here. So, we can put the tube line. I know it runs just to the left of the bridge. So, we can put the tube station about here. We're going to make it a bit longer so it sticks out the other end, but it only needs to be 100 metres for the length of the tube. So the only reason I've made this more than 100 metres is just so it sticks out the back. This is Vauxhall. There was a helicopter crash here a few years ago in one of the towers next door. The next station for the um, Tate Gallery is going to squish some lines but it doesn't matter. It's here somewhere. It's actually a really big one with lots and lots of exits but the um, Greycoats Hospital which isn't a hospital, it's a school but the political building with lots of offices for different political parties is based here, Millbank. I went to school very near here. There's more than one Grey Cut Hospital, but I don't think they're anything to do with the school anymore. Um, but the Tate Gallery is here somewhere. And also, uh, hush, hush, quiet, quiet, MI, MI6 is based just here. This is MI6. Don't tell anyone. And over here, this house of parliament, but this building here is, uh, I don't tell anyone, but it's uh, MI5. <laughs> oh, and round the back is the um, London headquarters of GCHQ. <laughs> I'm now on a government watch list, everyone. <laughs> right. Um, let me see. See, so we're going to put the Pimlico here. <coughs> I might edit that out. <laughs> right, 100 metres right across here. There we go. The station itself, Pimlico, is a bit of a beast. It's absolutely huge, but... Um, Pimlico. Co. but um, during the day hardly anyone uses it it's such a commuter train commuter, commuter, commuter right, Victoria Station Victoria Station one of the biggest stations in the country and it's truly huge and it's here there's tubes there's trains the buses, everything so I need to make sure that this tube train, when it's finished, uh, it needs to head north over Green Park. But at the same time, I need it to touch some of the some of the rails when I start building them. So part of me is really tempted to start jamming in loads of platforms. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to. I've also got the circle line to consider, which comes through here. So, with the tube 
entrance being about here I'm going to put the tube line just here the district line is actually based over here and it's a bit of a walk to get to the two um, so I'm going to straddle the road with this station straddle the road it's not quite correct but for the mechanics of the game it's the best I can do it's also going to have to be a bit longer which is a bit gamey but it's just so I know I can get it to reach all the parts of the station there we go it's not called Little Ben it's called Victoria Little Ben there's a little clock outside um, as you'd imagine which is smaller than Big Ben <laughs> Victoria done so now we're looking good we're looking good the next place is directly on the opposite corner of Green Park so come on <clears throat> this is Buckingham Palace just there could put a station there could put a train train yard could turn Green Park we could turn the Royal Parks <laughs> into a train depot wouldn't that be fun right so next stop is Green Park the Ritz is here on this corner and these little paths here are actually all the ways into the station it's a pretty simple one it just goes straight across because it is a bit of north south 100 meters easy done oh perhaps not <laughs> okay let's get rid of that one let's make that one just a touch bigger oh I said the bishop to the actress let's click that and right Green Park, Green Park, there we go, done, nice big uh, catchments, 3,000, 3,600, they butt up to some of the West End and that's exactly what the, exactly what the Victoria Line does, I'm going to put, actually I'm going to put in the description of this video a link to another YouTube video which is a view, a, a documentary made in about 1977 on how, which is when the Victoria Line was opened for the Queen's Silver Jubilee. Um, we're going to open uh, the, how they actually built um, the uh, Victoria Line. I mean, literally, how they actually built it. It's um, pretty interesting. It's worth a watch. I'm trying to work out where the hell I am here. It doesn't have any street names. It's so annoying. And this part of London is really difficult to navigate. So I need to get my bearings from Regent's Park and Fitzrovia. So there's Fitzrovia. There is Regent's Park Station is in this is underneath that. That was cut out to make Regent's Park Station and then they put a park on top of it. Very clever. The so at the end here is a little crook in the road. And that means that this here, this corner here, the other end of Tottenham Court Road is Oxford Circus. Oxford Circus so here we are I did that without having to 100 meters having to once worry about where the hell I was Ta -da. so <clears throat> the original Victoria line was built only to go as far as um, Victoria the extra bit of Pimlico <coughs> Vauxhall Stockwell Brixton were added later I'm not sure when they were added but they were almost certainly added later I'm trying to remember what comes after Oxford Circus and I think it's Warren Street I think it crosses over at Warren Street here and then after Warren Street it crosses over at Houston and then it crosses over at St Pancras <laughs> so so it actually crosses here so I need to bear in mind 
that's it, it goes at an angle. So let's just have a look here. And it's going to go about here. Yeah, that would do. And then that's now Warren Street. And now we're going to do this one here. Because uh, bearing in mind, it's got to go to King's Cross afterwards, which is a little bit strange, isn't it? Right. So it's going to go just about here, I think, just at the bottom. So platform, platform. There we go. How strange. This now has loads of capacity. Let's have a look. Yeah, and then we have this bad boy. This is going to have so many platforms coming for it. It's unbelievable. 100 meters again. Do tell me, chaps and chapettes, if you like seeing me build this or if you prefer a time lapse. I'm happy to accommodate. I truly am. The next station is, if my memory serves me correctly, Highbury, Highbury, I think it's called. Let me just look it up quickly, just in case I've made a pig's ear of that description. Uh, no, it is Highbury and Islington. So there is a funny little bit in the road um, near... Highbury Fields, that's Highbury Fields there. Um, below Highbury Fields is a little crook in the road there. And I remember coming out of said tube station somewhere around here. <laughs> so we're going to stick the tube underneath here. I've got a feeling that this funny bit here was dug out. A lot of the tube stations in London were created not by tunnelling. The actual tunnels themselves uh yes but the stations a lot of them were created by digging holes into the ground huge holes and then when they're finished capping them this thing i'm going to put in the description below this documentary about how they built the victoria line it is dated but um it is fascinating to see how exactly they did it and horrible working conditions hmm and I mean horrible. Right. And how it wasn't hot. I mean, it didn't mention any accidents. But it did mention that, you know, out of the hundreds of miles of tunnel they dug for the damn thing. And some of this does go above ground. I can't remember where, but I'm sure when we see it, we will recognise it. So the next station, I believe, is... Mm. Finsbury Park I had to look that up I won't lie I had to look it up I can't see where Finsbury Park is based I can now so I've used a map here because this part of London I don't know much I do know that the I think think this is starting to get overground now so i think it comes out of a tunnel here somewhere somewhere here there's the emirates stadium where arsenal football club play and then on <laughs> and then on all sides of the emirates stadium are train lines <laughs> in fact i think the line might even come up here i'm not sure but um Ah, uh, what am I doing here? So, um, I'm just trying to work out where the damn place is. I think it crosses over here. And do you know what? I think this is it here. I think it's here. And there's a there's main line as well, Finsbury Park main line. I've never I've never actually used any of the lines up here. Not this far north. It's grim up north, they say. Well, maybe they're right. 
so this is wrong completely wrong completely wrong okay let's try this again i think it's just inside this bit here so let's see if i can fit it inside here there we go 100 meters pretty good this is this will have other definitely have other stations here in the future other platforms rather finsbury park i know that walthamstow's up here and seven sisters and some other other places it then disappears off into east london i believe seven sisters is the next stop and we can see seven sisters here where in seven sisters i'm not sure i do know it travels on some sort of um tunnel from here goes underneath and then it comes out again somewhere here but it's like behind houses and stuff this could be it here i know there's another one here look at this is that it i don't know it goes into seven sisters so let me just check uh google maps because i am not sure so it seems to go under the road actually yes it goes back into a tunnel it comes out it comes out of a tunnel and goes back in so for the purposes of this i'm going to keep it in the tunnel and just just make tunnel it go, it looks like this is out outdoors there's a tunnel here and there's a tunnel here somewhere just here which must be what that spur of land or something is here right so seven sisters let me just have a look right where the where the where this forks here just here is the station it runs that way so let's do that 100 meters runs absolutely straight to the streets bingo seven sisters Seven sisters. Done. Next on this list of fine stations is Tottenham Hale. Uh, obviously, that is. I have no idea where that is. <laughs> it's going to be to the north east. There's a really strange this is the lee valley i think it's called it's uh these these are reserves these are water reserves um for there's tottenham marshes there's walthamstow the tube line was dug out of the clay laid and then it was filled on top and then they put the reservoir um with what that what that did uh to i don't know what that did to the locals but this area was it, it, they often look at this area and wish that they'd not put a reservoir here i've heard politicians before openly lament when the old um london corporation decided to put uh, allow these string of waterways that are here um and not get rid of them and to put you know to put all these here all these march uh, marshes and things uh, this area here, technically up the top here, is actually um, Essex, Chingford. This is Essex, it's not London. This, I think that's about the barrier. Um, but everything gets included as London. It's inside the M25, so there's a blurring of the line. But anyway, let's have a look. Tottenham Hale is next to a Tottenham Howe train station well, there's Tottenham Howe the train stations there so the tube line is here so let's do the tube line it's not above ground definitely not 100 meters there we go just got to make sure that when we build it I build the overground line touching it so Tottenham Hale. So, let's 
so done then the last station the end of the line is Walthamstow and very strangely you can follow the line it actually follows this line here and over this but it underground not overground underground that doesn't seem right to me let me just have a look at this I know that there's an overground line here but I'm pretty sure I mean that these all look there's loads of overground lines here defunct lines I don't know if they are defunct but there are loads of train lines here for the for the sake of argument I am not going to um, do anything other than build <laughs> build it as a tube line so I'm pretty sure this line is I don't know what they call this line it's like the North London line or that's what it used to be called and it goes down to Walthamstow Central uh, is that what this station's called because there's a Walthamstow Queenstown Road and a Walthamstow Central but I can never remember which one's which but anyway, let me just... Now, I'm looking for a squiggle in the road, which looks like here. Then this is some sort of cycle track, I think. Believe it or not, there's a McDonald's here somewhere, which I stopped off once many years ago. <laughs> but I believe the tube station is... Here is also a train line so I need to build the tube line across like this so let's do this this is the end of the line and it's all underground so it don't matter uh, there we go Walthamstow Central make sure we put the central in because there's going to be a lot of Walthamstow sta st stations Blah. words are hard central okay so here we are with our train line it's not a big one compared to some of the others that we've seen um, by any stretch of the imagination so I'm going to build this one now in time lapse and then we will be back after I've built it, put the trains on and also um, done, I've also done the uh, scheduling. Those things are, you know, once you've seen them, once you've seen them all. I think the interesting bit is knowing where the stations are and how much profit and stuff. If you would disagree with me, please let me know. And I will adjust my video making for this game. Okay, I'll see you in a bit, guys.
Hello ladies and gentlemen, so we're, we're here now. Uh, I'm just going to look at the timing calculator. So the average speed I want to get out of these uh, things is 75. Uh, that tells me that there should be a train along every five minutes. Um, there's no bottlenecks on this line. Um, so I will set that and I'll also set a minimum of 15 seconds so that they keep moving which will put that time up slightly so I th think that's doable it's 10 past 7 in the morning for this so I'm just going to let the game go and we're going to see what sort of results we're getting if I click on that and I go to accounting let's just sit here for a second I'm just going to have a drink and we'll see what sort of results we get. So, looks like so far so good. Just turned it down a bit and see what's going on. Um, it's not bad. Speeds aren't great, but it, the train I've picked is I've picked as a workhorse. It carries lots of people rather than it being a speed demon. Its acceleration is appalling. Um, it's a lot really bad but the amount of people it's picking up in some of these places is a lot hmm. so Hi Highbury Island don't remember that one let's go and pick that one up Highbury Island that's not right so Highbury Island, don't remember. Highbury, is that what it's called? I think it's just called Highbury. Highbury and Islington. Pardon me for all the people that live there. <laughs> Let's have a look. Highbury and Islington. Okay, done. Right. For realism, for realism's sake. So let's have a look on the line again at the, it's picking up quite a few people actually. I'm just going to whack it up for a bit. Oh no, I've got it on the month, let's have it on day. Let's really start whacking it up. Let's get to about midday and see if I've had any problems. I'll look at the line. But um, the next line I'll be building, like this one, will be the Bakerloo line. Um, it's a slightly longer line and then the circle line and then we're going to start looking at getting some trains from London out to the network I've already built right that should do us let's turn this down a bit now I just want to see if there are any grumpy faces on the platforms doesn't look like it let's just take seven sisters for an example wow they're going wow these people are going to these people are changing to go north. Some of these people. Finchley Central, East Finchley. So they're going, they're heading north. So it means that my, <laughs> means that my stations are going to start making even more money. So these have all got good catchment. 178. What the hell? Some of these are going down to Finchley. So the... So this is the amount of people going, so of the people coming to the station, so nearly at capacity, wow, nearly at capacity, um, local 82%, long distance 33, so we're nearly, I mean this station, this is crying out for more net for more network local train everything just to take up some of the slack built in isolation this is almost i mean look at this this is well over capacity now 800 is still how many platforms have got there just the two <coughs> 800 it's well over capacity how many people are going to argue in islington from here Tottenham 491 passengers are going to there thank god I 
got a huge trains. Let's have a look, see how many get on. Come on. Lots of people getting off. This is where I find out I need to have a longer. Okay, what about them getting on? No one's getting on. Is it full up this train? No. Can we get them on the train please? People are still trying to get off. Is there no one getting on? Wow, that is a bit scary. It's almost as if I should have had more people. And who's on here? 92 people are going to King's Cross. I'd love to know where they came from. All over the place. Wow. So this particular part of the line is working fantastically well. Every five minutes makes me wonder if I put 12 trains on altogether, six to start from up here and six to start from down here. They've all been allocated depots for the morning. The depots come out the back so I don't have to worry about them going down the line, turning around, coming back again. The line itself only cost me 667 million, which isn't too bad at all. So I'm, what I'm going to do in between videos is I'm going to uh, set up um, I don't know what I'm going to do I think I'm just going to leave it and wait till you guys come but till I come back and show you what I'm doing probably going to do the as I said probably going to do the um, oh, I'm, on the wrong one. I'm probably going to do the um, Bakerloo line because it just makes the most sense for me Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate you uh, hanging out with me and watching my meager efforts. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.